Tunazungumzia kuhusu family blessings. Familia iliyobarikiwa inchi imebarikiwa. I think if families can heal a nation is healed. If we can raise healthy children then we have a better nation. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 6 inasema may Reuben live and not die nor let his men be few. Do not allow his men and his people to be few. Genesis 28 verse 3 May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you that you may be an assembly of peoples. Hiyo ni baraka. Familia isiwe ndogo, iwe izidi kupanuka. Genesis 24 verse 60 and they blessed Rebekah and said to her, Our sister, may you become the mother of thousands, of ten of thousands, and may your descendants possess the gates of those who hate them. It is a blessing of many family members. Exodus chapter 1 verse 7. But the Israelites were fruitful. They increased abundantly. They multiplied. They became exceedingly strong so that the land was filled with them. So even a tri tribe becoming mighty is a blessing. Amen. It's a blessing for Africans to fill the earth. Minaomba Kenyans wajaya kila mahali duniani. It is a blessing. Population is power. So the most populated we are, the better. Ukienda kila mahali, you notice Kenyans all over. It is a blessing. So the blessing of increase, the blessing of, yani munakosa ku diminish, munakosa kuwa wachache. Today, if we can, please, let's go to the book of 2 Samuel chapter 3 verse 1. I want to speak about or on a topic entitled a strong family, raising a strong family. Another blessing is a blessing of being strong as a family. Baraka ya kuwa munanguvu. As a family, you, 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 you raise a family that is not weak, you raise a family that is strong. And the book of Second Samuel, chapter 3, verse 1, Bible in Asema, now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David grew what? Stronger and stronger, but the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. These are two families. One family becomes very strong. The other family becomes very weak. Family moja inaenda ikipata nguvu. Inazidi kuwa na nguvu. Inazidi kuwa na nguvu. Watu wa hiyo familia wanakuwa na mamlaka. Wanakuwa na ofisi kubwa kubwa. Wanakuwa na mali. Wanakuwa na masomo. Familia hiyo ingine. Instead of becoming stronger. Hata ukiangalia miaka baadae. Nyumba ya sauli yaliye baki ni mefibo sheth. Do you remember Mephibosheth? Yule ambaye alikuwa alianguka kavunjika miguu. Sasa huyo ndi alionekana sasa as, you know, from the family of, uh, of who? Saul. Lakini ukiangalia Daudi ya Nazar, Solomon. One of the greatest kings to ever live. So leo natani zungumzie the blessing of becoming, a family becoming stronger. Yani una Una baraka ya uzao wako hauta kuwa watu wadogo wadogo hapa duniani. Watoto wako wanakuwa wanamai. Majina makubwa ama familia yenu inakuwa na jina kubwa. It becomes stronger and stronger. And today from the Bible, nita, nitajaribu kukuonyesha from scripture, and from the word of God, ni mambo gani huwa yanafanya a family to be strong. Na leo natani zungumzia moja, as time allows me. Can we go to the book of Esther, chapter 6, verses 13? This is something very important that the Lord has taught me today. Very, very important. And I want us to read it together. Mana kwa hum stari kuna siri kubwa. Kuna ufunuo mkubwa. Ukiupata, you can transform your family completely. Unaweza badilisha familia kabisa. Now, can we read it together? One, two, go. When Haman told his wife Zeresh and all his friends 
everything that had happened to him, his wise men and his wife Zeresh say to him, If Mordecai, before whom you have begun to fall, is of Jewish descent, you will not prevail against him, but will surely fall before him. I want you to mark that word. If he is of Jewish descent, if he is of Jewish descent, you will not prevail, you will fall. If he is, not if he is educated, not if he is a man of the sword, not if he is very powerful in position in this country, if he is from the Jewish descent, your descent is very important. Where did you come from? Descent yamtu, root yamtu. Kwa these wise men and even the wife understood. Na kikuyu tunasama kehumo. Kehumo. The source of this person where he is coming from, his descent, his root, is his strength. Nguvu ya Mordecai. Si urefu wake. Si o maso alizo nazo. Si o pesa alizo nazo. Lakini ametoka wapi. The river and the source. Kuna kitabu ilisomwa shule ilikuwa inaitua. The river and the source. Nguvu ya mutu inategemea the source. Alitoka wapi. Source is very important. Source is very important. Ata nguvu ya muhubiri. The river and the source. Alitoka kisi magani. Ndiyo huwa inategemea muhubiri nguvu yake. Source. Source is very important. Na ukiangalia ata wahubiri wala wakubwa hapa Kenya ambao wamehemishimishwa na mungu. Uangalia sansi zake wale ya mezaa. You will notice the river and the source. The might of a river, nguvu ya muto, ni sosi yake. Na kwevo, sometimes it's always good to ask yourself, what is your source? What is your source? Jewish descent, you will not stand against him. You can't prevail. Kwevo, kuna watu ufai kupigana na wao kwa sababi ya source. Source is very important. And never ignore source. Source is very important. If our president Uhuru Kenyatta is from the Kenyatta family, you will not prevail against him. Descent, source, chanzo cha muto, chanzo cha mutu ni muhimu sana. And today we are going to look at, mana, for David to become who he became, it was the source. It was the source. He came from Judah. And from Judah, kulikuwa na baraka. Can I show you the blessing of Judah? Go to the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 5. 1 Chronicles, chapter 5. The Bible says, Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he indeed was a firstborn, but because he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given to sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, so that the genealogy is not listed according to the birthright. Verse 2. Yet Judah prevailed over his brothers. And from him came a ruler. From him came a ruler. Now can you take me to 2 Samuel 3.1. Judah prevailed against his brothers. From him came a ruler. Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. Saul came from Benjamites. There was no ruler. David came from Judah, where there was a ruler and there was a blessing. And the Bible says, and David grew stronger and stronger. But the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. Why? Mufalme Saul alipata position, lakini source yake ilikuwa na shida. There was a problem. Where he came from, hakukuwa na mafuta ya kifalme. Solomon and Naoa wanawake miyatisa, but anakuwa bado strong. Nasisem miyafanya dhambi, are you getting my point? The source of Solomon, ata Bible inasema, were it not for the covenant I made with David, 
Ningeachana na Solomon. But because of his father, I will bless him. Source is very important. You are source. You are descent. Where did you come from? And that is why you are supposed to deal with the river and the source. Si mnakumbuka hiyo kitabu. Na warudisha hapo ili uelewe the river and the source is very important. You are source. You are descent. Where did you come from? Esther chapter 6 verse 13. Then I give you a few verses and then we pray. Esther chapter 6 verses 13. If Mordecai before whom you have begun to fall is of the Jewish descent, you will not prevail against him, but will surely fall before him. If he be of Jewish descent, a blessed descent, a descent of the Jewish people who have a covenant with God, a people who have been chosen of God, if he comes from that people, you will fall. You will not prevail against him. Sosi ya mutu ni muhimu sana. Sosi ya mutu ni muhimu sana. Na leo natani kuonyeshe the three sources ya wanadamu. Sisi sote tumeka hapa. Tuna, tuna source ainaine. Four of them. Four sources. Four sources. Na where you came from, if you don't deal with that source, utapata kwamba watu watakuwa na kushinda kwa urahisi. Eh, amen. I say again, watu watakuwa na kushinda kwa urahisi. Can you go to the book of uh, John chapter 1 verse 12? John chapter 1 verse 12. I want you to write this down. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name. Andika number one. Rudi hapo nyuma kidogo. Usiende haraka. Go with me please. Number one. Write this down. The source of being a child of God. It is a source. It is a source. As many as received him. To them he gave them the right. To become the children of God. To whom? To those who believe in his name. The source of being a child of God. Go now to verse 13. Look at this. Who are born not of blood. Andika number 2. The source of blood. Nor the will of man. Andika number 3. The source of the will of man. Nor of the will of man. Kuna difference ya hayo maneno mawili. Who are born not of blood. Andika blood. 2. The will of the flesh. 3. Uh, number four, the will of man. And the other one is, but the will of God, which we have already written. You can write the last one. The will of God. Watu huzaliwa kwa njia hii. Hii dunia yote, watu hawa ndiyo wameja. Wale walizaliwa kwa damu. Wale walizaliwa kwa sababu ya tamaa ya mwili. Wale walizaliwa kwa kupangwa na mwanadamu. Na wale wamezaliwa ndani ya kristo. They are born of God. Kovio, some of us, we were born of blood. Of blood ni kumanisha uh, mwanadamu ambaye ni asili, physical. You know? Physical, human beings. Wanazaliwa wa hindi, wa taliano, how? Alafu kuna wale wanazaliwa kwa sababu ya tamaya mwili, of the flesh. Watu wawiri wanakutana, wamekunyo pombe, ama wanatama, wanafanya dhambi, wanazaa mtoto. Alafu wengine ni kupangwa. Mutoto anapangwa vizuri. Nataka mutoto anapangwa vizuri. Na anazaliwa. Wili ya mwanadamu. Kwa za hata ndi mwanadamu anasema tuongeze. Lakini kuna wale wanazaliwa na mungu. They are born of God. They are born in the will of God. It is God who purposed. Kama Isaac was born in the will of God. Ni mungu aliamua. Kwa hivyo hii dunia kuna watu. Na ni kuambia ukweli. Kuanzia mimi mpaka wengiwenu hapa. Ujo mnaweza fikiria ni njini na hubiria. Wengi wetu hapa hatu kuzaliwa hii ya mwisho. But the will of God. Can I tell you the truth? Hii kanisa tukiwa wacha tuzeme 100%. 90%. 10% ndiyo walizaliwa 
through the will of God. Yaani ni Mungu alitaka, aliyo imepangwa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu wazaliwe. Lakini sisi wengine hapa na, na usijichukie including me. Sasa mimi pamoja na wengi wenu na Mungu aliruhusu hivyo ili nisiwahukumu. Nikihubiri na nyenyekea. The Bible says but all who received him he gave them the right so they are right i have been given to become a child of god i may not have been born in the right way i may not have come to the world as per the will of god but listen i have received jesus and i have become there is a right i have, be, I have been given for example mimi naonanga watoto wale tumezana my wife hata mungu anakupa jina before azaliwe Hao watoto kuna neema kuna 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 grace wako nayo lakini sisi wengine na pia waokoke ni vizuri waokoke sisi wengine we are supposed to anchor our faith on receiving Christ the right i have been given to become a child of god then if i can use those rights ambazo nimepewa through jesus christ then i can become strong my descent imebadilika my source inabadilika nina jiunganisha na binguni ninaitwa mwana wa kristo mwana wa mungu how do you become a child of god how do we know you are a child of god are you ready for this first john chapter 3 verse 9 first john chapter 3 verses 9 whoever has been born of god does not sin for his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he has been born of God Nicodemus you need to be born again so that you disconnect yourself from your lineage and your descent Amen So the Bible says whoever that has been born of God does not sin for the seed remains in his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. Go to the next verse, verse 10. In this, can we read it all together? One, two, three, go. In this, the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. So there are two children on this earth. Those of God and those of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God. Nor is he who does not love his brother. So an answer kuandika. Number one, practicing righteousness gives you a right to become a child of God. It is not singing. It is not dancing. It is not my style as an orator. I can speak great words here. Do you know there is a way I can speak up ambaka nyuerezako zinasimama? A man of mighty words. You may sing powerfully but that does not make you a child of God. You may even know how to tithe and to give an offering but that does not make you a child of God. By these we know the children of God and those of the devil. Number 1, those who practice righteousness, practicing righteousness, living a lifestyle of holiness and righteousness before God. Kwa hivyo mambo ya kukunywa pombe, usharati na hiyo mambo yote unazidi kuishi hiyo maisha, you are not a child of God. Wacha kusema, oh I'm of the descent of God. No, those who practice righteousness are children of God. Then you can connect to the source of being a child of God and you become mighty and you become strong. Number two, loving those you are born with and loving people. Kwa hivyo mtu yoyote anachukia watu ovyo ovyo. Wacha kusema I'm a child of God. Bible inasema the one way to know truly you are a child of God is through love. Expressing love. Angalia vile tunachukiana. Tunachukia dada amepaka lipstick. Na tuna brand, tuna brand devil worshipper. Tunachukia pastor. Kwa sababu amekosea tu kidogo akihubiri chuki 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 hauongei na ndugu mliyezaliwa na yeye na unasema umeokoka and that is where now we come to the family level if truly you are born again are you talking to your sister 
are you talking to your brother? Do you have a relationship with your family members? Do you reach out to your mother and to your father? How do you treat the people you were born with? Munaishi vipi? Do you have their number? Do you call them? Watu wengi yata ha. Kuna namba umefuta za ndugu yako, dada yako, hauna. Lakini tang za Z na B. Bo, 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 zi, 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 zi. Zika, zika, zika. Zori, zi, zi, zi. Wajua siku hizi watu wanatisha na tangs. Lakini nauliza pamoja na hiyo zobo, zozo, zigirigi, zigo, zogo. Pamoja na hiyo, are you talking to your brother? Are you talking to your sister? Do you go to your family gathering? What is your relationship with the mother who gave birth to you? And your father who gave, oh pastor, she's a witch. By this we know that truly you are a child of God. By loving your brother. Kupenda watu ambao wata hawafai upendo. Unawapa upendo. Kovo watu wale wataingia binguni. Sio wale wana talanta kubwa. Ni watu wale walijifundisha kutembea na utakatifu. Na number two, upendo. Peace making with the people. Heaven will become yours. Lakini si kusema ati unajua kuomba sana, unajua kuprofesai, na unachukia kila mutu. Unamoe wachuki. Number three, ya mwisho. Kofo number one, tumesema by practicing what? Number two, loving your brother. Oh, pastor, anakunyuanga. Mufuwa tempaka kwa ba. We have become a church and we are confined to our holiness, our righteousness, Wale ni wale, sisi ni sisi. Lakini Bible inasema, go make disciples. Bibila inasema, kama kweli huyu mutu ni wa mwenye haki, Yesu. Mbona anakula na wenye dhambi. Hivyo ndivyo mafarisa hawa likuwa nasema, mbona anakula na wenye dhambi. Can you be able to contain yourself na ukosa kufanya dhambi, na ufikia wenye dhambi na uwalete kwa kristo? 